placenta previa and low-lying placenta are potentially fatal conditions for both mother and child. To improve both maternal and fetal outcomes, it is important to diagnose low-position placentae during pregnancy. Owing to placental migration, over 90% of women with placenta previa or low-lying placenta in the second trimester will no longer have this condition in the third trimester. The aim of the present study was to assess the accuracy of the distance between the placenta and the internal os of the cervix in the second trimester for the prediction of third trimester low position placenta and to define a cutoff value at which all cases of third trimester low position placenta are identified. This was a prospective cohort study, including women undergoing a transvaginal ultrasound examination between 18 and 24 weeks who had a low position placenta. All women were reevaluated in the third trimester. In the second trimester, placenta previa was defined as a placenta covering the internal os of the cervix, and a low lying placenta was defined as a placenta lying near to, but not overlying, the internal os. In the second trimester, placentae were more frequently located on the posterior side. 5% of placentae persisted as a low position placenta. Women with placenta previa in the second trimester had a greater risk of a low position placenta in the third trimester than did those with the low lying placenta in the second trimester. Women with a posterior placenta had a higher risk of a low position placenta in the third trimester. Women with a history of cesarean section had a higher risk of low position placenta in the third trimester. The cutoff value of the distance between the placenta and the internal os in the second trimester to identify all cases of an abnormally located placenta in the third trimester was 15.5 mm for posteriorly located placentae, minus 4.5 mm for anteriorly located placentae, representing a 4.5 mm overlap at the placental edge over the internal os. The authors recommended lowering the cutoff for the distance between the placenta and the internal os of the cervix for follow-up in cases of an anterior low position placenta from 20 to 5 mm. This would decrease the number of unnecessary follow-up ultrasound examinations without missing any high-risk women.